when it became obvious that Lagos needed to give waste management a much-needed attention. The Lagos State Government passed the new Environmental Management and Protection Bill into law and also signed an 85 billion naira partnership agreement with a foreign firm to manage waste in the state. It was glaring to us that we needed to make determined efforts towards water, sanitation and hygiene. It was disconcerting that this century and other pandemics were on the rise with serious implications for our public health expenditure. I had a choice, either to allow us to excessively on treating preventive hygiene-based diseases or tackle the root cause of the problem. The major motivating factor outside of the financial burden this issue was putting on the state was the fact that the greatest casualties of this needless situation are actually our children. We needed to address it immediately with a comprehensive mix of me measures. We identified our major environmental laws were out of date and based on solid information. They no longer apply to our present day conditions. While charting a new direction, it became quickly apparent that government on its own will struggle to bear the cost of the wholesale change while meeting its other obligations, other equally important sectors. Were the current PSP operators confined to commercial premises only? However, a legal icon sees a fundamental breach in the newly passed environmental law. When Governor Akiumi Ambode came on board, he muted the idea of harmonizing the legal structures of waste disposal and refuse management in Lagos State. And uh, he made overtures and uh, sought our views, and we correctly advised then that management of refuse and um, waste generally under the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a responsibility of the local government. And the state government can only um, partner with the local government, but the primary and statutory organization and body that is allowed by the constitution to regulate waste management and disposal is the local government. And so we thought that then the local governments and the House of Assembly will work together towards a harmonized uh, statutory instrument that will dictate the manner of refuse disposal and waste collection. And there were associated problems of the dump sites, associated problem of revenue generation, re revenue generation and also the issue of um, the environment. So when eventually the bill came out, we discovered that it was not what we bargained for, uh, especially in areas where we had advised the administration to focus on issues of empowerment, issues of ensuring that the rights of the citizens are guaranteed. And so when the bill eventually came out, it was a bill that was tailored towards imposing a foreign investor on the, uh, on the waste collection system and administration in Lagos State. And we thought that that was quite clearly uncalled for. There was already an agency that was established, Lagos State Waste Management Authority called LOMA, which had been doing a wonderful job in the past um, decades in ensuring that uh, Lagos is clean. And we thought that what that body needed was some form of uh, encouragement, some of form of reorganization, in order to better position it to perform more efficiently. But the new law has more or less crapped uh, that management uh, structure. And I thought that that was not proper, given the experience in the other jurisdictions, that government has to be involved one way or the other, at least in regulation of waste management. But other than that, we share the dream of His Excellency, uh, because we have a mega city at hand, and we share his vision uh, in terms of uh, repositioning waste management and administration in Lagos State. But I think that the law as it presently stands that was recently promulgated will not achieve that objective. The chairman of the PSP operators in the state is also not at home with the provisions of the new law. The negotiations are not too uh, aware of what the law is saying. As a matter of fact, uh, they don't even know what, even many of us do not even know yet, the interpretation of the law. But however, we are looking at it that uh, 
one of the th sites that the law is trying to emphasize more on is payment of waste bills from the tenements. Because they are looking at it now that instead of the individuals company collecting money, they want to have a unified uh, bill and payment through that unified bill to the, maybe to the state government uh, um, uh, account or something else. But you see, the truth there is that in that sort of reforms, it's supposed to be a gradual process. It's supposed to be a reform that we have to include the existing PSP operator in the reforms. It's supposed to be a reform that should be uh, discussed properly before the takeoff and many other things. The existing PSP operators who have invested a lot in compacting, we have some who has 10, we have some who has more, almost 12 trucks, where we have some who has two, at least they have invested a lot of money. We have also gone ahead to start having motor garages so that trucks will not be parked on the roadside. So several investments have gone into the business and coming down just within a short time and say, okay, we want to do a reforms, let the reforms have a human face. That is the issue at hand now. And we believe that uh, with the struggle, well, something will come out of it. While the state is on the verge of implementing the new law, there is need for the state government to throw more light on grey areas such as the charges, which is now to be paid annually. There is also need for Lagos state government to reach out to the operators who feel, given the same platform which had been offered the foreign waste managers, they would do exceptionally well.